So here we go then, my version of Yum Yum Deviled Eggs out of Fallout of course. Fallout 4, I've been smashing it just lately. Played it twice already but I thought with the, the series and that, you've got to give it another go. And it's amazing the amount of things you find in there that you never found before. So here we go then, uh, three boiled eggs, this will make six Yum Yum Deviled Eggs because they're in halves. It, it, this is quite an old school thing really because I'm sure we used to have these when I were a kid at parties and, and family do's and that. But anyway, first off, your eggs, we need to cut them in half. Now I've found the easiest knife for this is a serrated edge one, very finely serrated edge. So we need them in half like that. And there you go. And it said six eggs, three eggs, cut in half makes uh, six halves, obviously. I did go to school. Now what we need to do is each one of these you have to be careful when you're cutting them so you don't split the sides, but uh, that's why a serrated knife is better. Just pop the yolks out, just like that. And then we just need to mash these up. You know what we're doing. You know what we're doing. Well, you know what we're doing from the title, but you know how we're doing it. So there's your eggs all mashed up. It's not a paste yet. We're trying to get to a paste, but we are going to add something now that's going to help us do that. And that is a squib of mayo. About a teaspoon there. Now we just work this into a paste. And then another squib. So that's about two teaspoons. That will be plenty. All right, salt. Some pepper. To taste, of course. And then... We need to make them deviled eggs. So first ingredient I'm going to add to this. A quarter of a teaspoon of chilli. Because deviled eggs, that's what it is. It's chilli eggs. Now I'm using extra hot chilli powder. But obviously you can use mild uh, if you don't want it too spicy. Next, a quarter of a teaspoon smoked paprika. And last but not least, a quarter of a teaspoon of garlic granules. I'm using granules because it's easier and... Not quite as harsh as um, fresh garlic. And then just for effect, because it will look good, we're just going to add a sprinkling of chilli flakes. Optional, of course, if you don't want them too spicy. Then we mix that together. This is where it turns from yellow to orange or red, depending how much chilli and what sort of chilli you've used. Try and get all the stuff around the edge. And there you go, I've switched to a teaspoon, it's easier to get all the gubbins from around it. Now, what you should do by rights to get the proper yum yum deviled eggs is put this in a piping bag or one of those syringe uh, icing machine doobie dobs. But the downside with that is, when you do it, about a quarter of what's here will stay in the piping bag because you can't get it all out and then you're going to end up short. And the same with the other doobie dob thingy. And also... I've not got one and I ain't buying one and most people won't have one either. You want the ones with like the star effect so you, you're effectively squirting it in it's going to have like a little Mr Whippy in there. But we're going to get a small bit on the teaspoon like that and then I think they call it quinelle where you, you, you rub your spoon around it. Now you don't have to do this, I'm going to try it the other way as well in a minute but we're doing that and then you have to use your fingers here. Put some in there, we may have some left over yet so... Um, all you do with that, round, round, just keep rolling your spoon around, and that will give you a quinelle. It's supposed to have a, a spoon, supposed to have a bit of water on it or anything, but it won't matter because we're using fingers. Or if you don't want to do that, you just get a bit and choose your thumb and put it in there. Now we're going to do that and then we'll top up in a minute. I want to make sure we've got enough. And the answer is yes, look, we've got enough. Now, what you need to do, I've got it on my fingers, but the thing with that is I can lick it all off my fingers in a bit. So just press it into the, uh, the cavity, sounds the wrong word, doesn't it? But press it into there. As I say, if you use the piping bag, you can get a nice whippy on the top. But And that's them done. Just tidy up if you're, you're doing them for mates or family, whatever you want them to look posh. Just rub your finger around there. Make sure your fingers are clean, obviously. Get any of the gubbins off that's on the right. If you see any gaps like that, just stick it in the gap. 
like that and then back to the fork just because we're not using a piping bag and you just do like you would with a shepherd's pie just gives it a bit of texture and there you have your yum yum deviled eggs as seen in fallout yeah how easy is that once you've got everything just tidy them up here look if you've got these bits you really need to wet your finger and then it'll just slide off if you want them to look fancy for people your family your friends and that's it they just need going in a box now waiting for the year whatever it is uh and then you've got yum yum deviled eggs i'm sure out of date on the program and the game but they still eat them give them a try now obviously i'm gonna have to try one which I'll do now. I'll just like to take the screenshots for the, uh, the thumbnail. Let's see what they're like then. Young, young deviled eggs. Makes me want to go out into the wasteland and tack on a death claw. Or a myelurk. Or anything. Or the ghouls. These are nice. Then so I'll just start to dig back in again. Mmm. Mm -hmm. They're so nice. Nice bit of spice to them. That creaminess from the mayo, a slight smokiness from the smoked paprika. If you don't like smoked paprika, you can just miss it out and put normal in. And that, if you're doing it for mates, friends, family, obviously get a piping bag and just squeeze it in there or use one of these syringe types and just like make it into like a little Mr. Whippy with the, the star shaped one and it'll look really good. But well, I've got to finish all these with one go. These are so nice. Thumbs up on this video if you like the look of this recipe. Because I think it's banging. Subscribe if you just found it. You know it's free. Just a button click away. And don't forget click notifications. Because that will enable you to see things like this. But if you don't click notifications. You won't get notified. And you won't know we've done it. Hmm. And drop your comments in below. Are you going to have a go at this? It is so easy. And I'm going to go and finish all of these. And I will see you on another one. Ta-ta!